It's a tax crisis, and this sign right here illustrates just how desperate small businesses are getting. Over four years, they went from $70,000 to $208,000. Dominic Caracciolo owns both Worst and Mercado along 4th Street. The Italian eatery saw property taxes go up 300% over four years. The increases come as the city extends the tax burden to business owners outside of the core, as buildings have gone dark due to the downturn in the energy sector. It's been increasing for a few years, and once, once the last one came, it was very, very frustrating and realizing that you're backed into a corner and there's not much the city can do to, or, or doesn't want to do to help with the relief. So it's, it's really scary in conjunction with the recession that we've been in and and uh, dealing with you know other factors of minimum wage and uh, stat holiday uh, the u.s dollar exchange and food prices going up carbon tax it's just been a combination of things that really was the nail in the coffin so to speak Council had set aside $73 million to help struggling businesses, but they couldn't agree upon a plan on how to divide it and to make sure that the businesses who needed it could get it. Earlier this week, Council voted down the final chance to have a grant program in place, but there is finally some talk of action. I'm here to announce emergency action to address the crushing tax burden that's facing particularly local business owners here. So as a result of City Council's uh, inability and inaction to address this issue, uh, they're facing mounting increases. So I'm bringing forward a number of emergency actions to be able to address that tax burden here and now for the 2019 year. Councillor Jeremy Farkas says Council needs to lead by example, proposing serious cuts to overspending and in pay cuts for Council and City Management. I think that we can immediately absorb a 35 million dollar uh, decrease in this year's budget. I think given uh, council leading by example and adopting for ourselves a, a very significant pay cut, that can pave the way for uh, pay reductions for management exempt staff as well as city staff more broadly. Uh, given now that more than half of the city's operating budget is salaries, wages, benefits and overtime, going uh, for reductions on that salary piece is the way that we can offer uh, long-term and sustainable relief. He would add that to $50 million withdrawal from the Opportunity Calgary Investment Fund, monies that would be given to businesses in the form of a tax credit. Meanwhile, the rest of council was having a tough time coming up with an emergency fix collectively. Believe it or not, this has been a work in progress for uh, several days on uh, trying to uh, figure out some common ground that uh, that all of us can live with. Diane Colley Urquhart presenting a solution on behalf of the mayor and all councillors minus Farkas. Their plan includes applying just over 70 million immediately to non-residential taxpayers, find 60 million dollars worth of savings and ask the province for 60 million. She says this plan is going forward June 7th but someone may try to preempt the agenda to deal with this and to deal with it better. Can we do better? Absolutely. Will we do better? Absolutely. Meanwhile, small business owners like Dominic are in limbo, just waiting to see if these numbers go down. In Calgary, Tara Overholt, City News.